I think uh, really the legacy of the uh, SFE wrestling program so far is, has been uh, all the uh, NAI champions that we've had here and our, uh, our time in the NAI where uh, we were, had the opportunity to become the school with the most individual champions ever in the NAI, uh, won two NAI national team titles and put more wrestlers on Canadian Olympic teams than any other uh, team in Canada. Uh, I like to say a lot of that's due to the coaching and the athletes who have come here, but I also think a lot of it's been due to the competitive advantage we've had by competing across the border in the NAI. Uh, our time in the CIS was nice, but we, we mainly put our top athletes into the NAI because that was better competition. With the move to NCAA, I see that competitive advantage even growing because we're going to be uh, accessing an even better level of competition than the NAI. I think it changes a little bit of everything because uh, in the NAI it's a smaller, smaller division. We got about 25 schools. Um, I think once you go into the NCAA, uh, the just the the way they set up the tournament, how many schools are competing, uh, the level of competition. I think uh, eventually we may even be more competitive because I think uh, we've always been a school that's had one or two. Uh, superstar type individuals. You can put together a team with four or five guys that can place at the NCAA tournament, you can make a run at the title. And that's not the case in the NAI anymore. So that's exciting. As far as recruiting goes, I think we're gonna become uh, a lot more of a full on North American recruiting thing. Uh, it's been a few years since we started attracting Ontario athletes out here. They're gonna be more inclined now to come this way. Uh, then that's a solid wrestling base there as well as uh, Washington to the south of us. There's over uh, 250 schools in Washington that wrestle in high school, but there's no four-year uh, university institution that wrestles. So those kids in the Washington, often you have to explain to them what the NAI is. The NCAA is not, is not in that category. Every kid who wrestles in the state of Washington, they know what the NCAA is. That's where they want to go. That's where they want to be. Um, so we're gonna have a lot more interest from uh, all over the United States. For sure, there's a sense of pride there because not only are we the first Canadian institution, we're the first non-American institution to be into the, in the NCAA. Uh, there's a sense of pride with that, and I know that among our, uh, our varsity team, uh, with the idea, they know they're going in there next year. They're excited about that as well. They want to go in. We got, we're going to have 10 starters on that team that are going to want to be the first NCAA All-American uh, from a Canadian school. So. That's incentive right there.